What is up my little eyes? A girl is back after a while. I needed a while to literally clear my mind, but a girl is back and we are in nature, of course. I just want to make sure first and foremost that we got a mature audience. Yeah, all y'all. I hope y'all are mature because this topic is going to be a little bit. So it's actually kind of sad that I have to talk about this, but it's what this world has come to. Honestly, the truth about all this over sexualization and content advertisements, mainly of women, it's all because of money. It's all because it's not, and it's not just money. It's a psychological thing that people do to make you want to spend money because they make you feel inferior. You have to work on yourself to make yourself more, more appealing. And people try to spend money to solve the issues that make them feel like they're like unlovable or unworthy. All of the media that you're seeing is supposed to lower your self-esteem, which is why I really want to take away. I really want to take a long break from social media, which is why I'm not here that much, y'all. Every single thing that you see of women over-sexualizing themselves is for the attention of male. Male attention. Nobody really wants to be out here dressing slutty. Only if you do it for your own self, if you do it for your own appeal, okay, that's great. But most of the time, you're going to be uncomfortable wearing tight outfits, overly exposed. Meanwhile, it's cold outside. But honestly, I mainly see on social media that people are dressing, acting certain ways that are over-sexualizing to themselves. And it's really sad. But I'm glad I understand now because it's mainly not even their fault for real. I'm going to be talking to y'all while I have my painting set because a girl loves to paint. So I'm going to be telling y'all some information while I do that. You got to understand they want you lustful on purpose. The world is over-sexualized. Everything is over-sexualized for a reason. And it's so you could be the lower version of yourself, the worst version of yourself, the self that's always just focused on S-E-X, right? Always focused on lust instead of love or instead of turning towards your dreams and goals. So everything is energy and you have to understand that everything in the world is fighting for your attention and your energy. That is truly the most valuable thing. It's not diamonds, it's not gold, it's your energy. Pay attention to the things that truly matter in your life. Pay attention to your goals and dreams. Pay attention to God. Pay attention to your loved ones. Pay attention to your inner self, what's going on on the inside. Pay attention to the goals and dreams that God put on your heart. Pay attention to the life that truly matters. People make the most money from men's lust and women's beauty. That's one of the two things that makes the most money, mainly in the U.S. or maybe worldwide, that makes the most money. Since they play a big role, the government is not going to be like, oh, this is bad for people, they're going to cancel it. No, they don't care. As long as the government gets their paycheck, they're going to be like, oh, they get money. They don't care about what the person does or however they're going to get that check. So that's one reason why sex is so widely advertised in social media online. A lot of people are mainly hypnotized into that. Social media first pushes out that you're not enough, you're not at a higher level. You need to either get something, buy something to be at a higher level. It's a big problem. A lot of men are being hypnotized thinking that they need to get their body count higher in order to be a man. Or women are being hypnotized to be, I'm saying hypnotized, but like I'm really saying brainwashed. I'm gonna put it down so y'all could try to like see what I'm doing. <laughs> So I'm going to be multitasking the painting so far, but you guys have to realize that the government literally is hush-hush on the low about how people get money. The drug dealers, the top drug dealers are also part with cops. Certain people who have the most money in the world, like billionaires, the secret billionaires that get money in illegal ways, yet the government still supports them because they need the money, right? They do partnerships together because of money. So the advertisements you may see that are over-sexualized, you may be like, damn, that's wrong. Why isn't anybody doing anything about this? It's because they get that paycheck. The government knows that people are making money off of these things, like OnlyFans, those accounts that are explicit, so they don't care. In real honesty, sex is like a drug. So there's a reason why it sells so much. Literally, it's sad about what's happening to people, bro. People will be changing their whole mindsets, their whole personalities because of advertisements telling them they're not good enough. I guess I can't multitask. I don't know, y'all. I'm having a hard time painting and talking at the same time, so I might just take a break. In music videos, 
women are mostly half naked. I would be watching a music video on anything, almost anything. The woman is barely wearing clothes. And I'm like, why isn't she wearing anything but the guy is fully clothed? They ain't gonna say nothing. Nobody gonna say nothing because men's lust sells, women's beauty sells, even in music, not even just music videos. I'll be listening to a song, for example, there was this Megan Thee Stallion song. I'm gonna put the name, y'all. I was listening to it. I'm like, oh, this is nice to soul music. You know, it's very calm. I'm like, let me listen to it more. And then, Midway half in the intro, I'm hearing all this rapping about some coochie, about some cream, coming in my booty, whatever. Some type of shit like that. I was trying to relax. I wasn't trying to hear all that. I wasn't trying to twerk. So, really, it's like, they be fooling me with that too. Because naturally, you're not going to be drawn to that when you're spiritually inclined with yourself. You don't want to really be connecting yourself too much to sex because sex is very deep and it has more effects. That's how the Matrix is. They want to pull you to sex for different reasons, but they don't talk about the results. Like, you're going to have kids. You're going to have some type of disease if you're just acting out all wild. They don't even want to deal with the responsibility. And they're making you, persuading you to do sex stuff, but they don't want to tell you the after effects. This is why there's so many problems with abortion. And a lot of scenarios guys have this pressure to sleep with women like for example players they mainly want to seem like they're doing things right so they can raise their self-esteem and seem like they're better and they're not just a wimp or whatever so mainly they do these things so they don't seem like that and it only they're just only idiots for doing that but honestly that's how they feel their self-esteem will only rise if they feel like they have more bodies it be innocent kids too and that's the worst part little young fucking kids will be on social media doing the most random shit right not even sexual shit and then there will be people in the comments like for example one time i was scrolling on instagram scrolling through i was seeing a video of a girl dancing why i look in the comments there was these guys talking about oh you look good baby oh you look fine oh my gosh she's mine she's my little baby these men are these men are grown and i'm like she's five she looks like she's five I'm like, this is bad, y'all. That's what scares me the most, because, like, that could be my daughter. You could look up schoolboy. You'll see him wear a whole outfit, khakis, whatever type of thing, pants, shirt, full on, full sleeve, whatever. You look up schoolgirl on Google search. The clothes she's wearing, she looks half naked. She looks like she's not even, she looks like she's not even wearing clothes. But I just want y'all to see the difference, though, because this is, like, everywhere. So, honestly, I'm not trying to be really, like, seem like that biased girl, but... If you look at the patriarchy, you can see, like, this is not right. But I'm really telling y'all, the more, like, that woman dress a certain way is the more that they get attention, is the more money that they make, which is why it's so promoted that much. But honestly, it's really messing with women's self-esteem. It's not even about money at this point, because women are actually over here thinking that they're less than, thinking that, honestly, if they don't dress a certain way, they think that automatically they're not good enough. They think that if they dress a certain way, the man won't love them. Or that's what they were told as a kid, that men won't love you if you don't look presentable. It goes really deep to where it's psychological. Because a lot of men who just want sex from you are broken. Because in their childhood, some something went wrong in the childhood to make them act that way. Because a very decent, normal, healthy man would not just use a woman for their own gratification. Especially just for one thing. Like, if you get in a relationship with a person... And you only want to use them for one thing that you do and then you just want to run off you're broken it's just like it just sounds like you're broken because there's so much that you're missing out on but you want that one little thing so bad you will do anything for it and this is why sex is like a drug people act like it's a drug they do whatever anything almost anything to get it a healthy person would never have the intention to use a person for one thing so really that's why i feel bad it's like damn who broke you back to like people feeling like inferior with low self esteem this is not just for lust in general or sex it's about a lot of things for example there was a story about a girl like it was a video i was watching where she permed her hair because she wanted to be like the other girls or the other girls were saying that her hair was ugly and nappy she was a black girl and she cur she permed her hair because she thought that would make her accepted before her hair was so beautiful it was so curly coily but she wanted to perm it so her classmates would like actually make her feel validated this is why i talk about y'all not chasing validation from other people it's in our human nature to feel like we're accepted as a society so honestly it's a part of us feeling like we're normal and 
social media wants you to live a life a fake life that is unrealistic it's like i can't even describe it social media wants you to like get a car at 18 get an apartment at the age of 20 21 buy your own house at 22 marry a husband at 23 like social media really does push a part about people acting out you just need to really live it's not that more complicated than that like what i'm doing right now y'all i'm living like yes i want to achieve certain goals but at the same time i'm just living i'm doing what makes me happy and i honestly honestly feel more happier when i don't follow society's rules or standards especially social media what they want you to do at the age certain ages and that makes me feel like i'm less of an outsider that's how the pitching is going so far i i i don't know what's going on here i was trying to make a moon but i was thinking maybe i should have done white instead of gray we'll add adjustments but really what i'm really about to tell y'all right now most importantly is that your sexual energy is very very sacred special and your sacral chakra represents your sexuality so mainly it's one of the most important things to keep your chakras in balance is also a part of your sexuality your sexual energy is very important it's very sacred that you keep it healthy and don't abuse your sexuality the more that you have sex with people the more that you do sexual things is the more that you're draining your energy the more that you're letting other people manipulate your energy it's a part of who you are your identity you're gonna lose certain parts of yourself if you just abuse it give it to people and it's so important because my spiritual self knows that and i could sense how a person acts differently like can you ever sense how a person acts differently you can easily sense who looks for what you could tell what a person wants by the way they represent themselves whether they're an attention seeker whether they're just looking for that one thing whether they just want love whether they want something good or bad from a person you can sense that that's where you get your intuition to let you know and help you out to sense those type of things that a person wants the more that you use your sexual energy the more that you're just gonna attract people who want to feed off of it but that's mainly why religions they tell you to be pure they tell you to do these things because they don't want you to just only attract one thing that's gonna drain you religion is actually very spiritual it's supposed to mainly reflect spirituality but religion doesn't really mainly reflect spirituality i talked about this in a video but y'all go watch that people are so scared to talk about oh s word it's located all over the media but people are so scared to talk about it that's why i really feel bad for people who get because it's like, damn, they did not deserve that at all in that way when people get sexually abused. And thank God that never happened to me. But honestly, it's so hard to like heal, especially if that happened to a person. There's so much about this topic that honestly, I don't even know if I've put it in this video. But this is one of the very many problems that are happening in the world. Overall, I finished my painting. Let me know what y'all think. If you think it's cute. I added the swans, you know, because I like swans and they're very romantic. But I think I heard that swans only had one partner. Like, I guess they had that partner for life. That's what I heard. People were passing me. They were like, oh my gosh, your painting's so cute. I was like, thank you. Even though I think it's like an 8 out of 10. It could have been a 10 out of 10 if I colored the moon differently. I don't know. I'll be back with another video soon, otherwise. I'm sorry I took a break, a little break, a long time away. But I'm going to try to be consistent, even though there's a lot of things that's been happening that I've been busy with. I hope you liked this video. I hope you thought it was informative. But I'll be back with another video soon. Otherwise, Jazz is out. You think I should leave it here for a person to pick it up? You think I should leave this here? Hmm. Mm -mm.